Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel and this is the beginning of building Boba Fett. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Uh, if you don't know, this is where I share my fandom of the Star Wars franchise. I love Star Wars, been a huge fan of Star Wars since the very beginning. Uh, if you've been following my channel, you watched me build uh, Kylo Ren. Uh, I'm not quite done. I'm not quite done with, with Kylo. Kind of thinking I might shift the costume a little bit. Maybe go to the, the shorter uh, jacket just because of my stature. I'm a little short. I'm a little short. And wearing the long tabards kind of makes me look, I don't know, like a pencil. I, don't, I, don't, I, I almost look shorter. So I'm not, I'm not a tall person. So uh, I've been slowly putting together some Boba Fett pieces. Uh, my hope is to build a Return of the Jedi Boba Fett. If you don't know, uh, he has different looks in every film and there's a dis distinction between Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett, which is more green, and the ROTJ Boba Fett. He has a little bit more color uh, to his palette, a little bit more battle damage E. Uh, I do have the uh, Black Series helmet. You'll see that pop up every now and again. Of course, the goal would be to get a, a different helmet that would match the uh, color scheme with the actual costume. Getting a new helmet is probably going to be the last thing I do. I'll probably see how long I can maintain uh, using the Black Series just because it's, it's such a good prop. Today, I thought I would put on the soft parts. Now, we say the soft parts are the under parts under the armor, right? It's all the, all the fabric. Right? So this would be the flight suit, the vest, the spats, the gloves, uh, things like that. So what I thought I would do is I would just put all of those on and just kind of show you the beginning, right? And I'll, uh, I'll back farther away from the camera so you can see uh, full body shots, maybe turn the camera vertically just so that it puts me in frame a little better. And uh, yeah, we'll mark this as day one of building Boba Fett. All right, so here's the flight suit in all its glory. Uh, I'm not gonna show you uh, me putting it on, okay? And of course, I'm wearing normal tennis shoes. I don't have the Boba Fett shoes as of yet. So uh, collar, zipper here in the front, and you also have zippers on the sleeves. That's good for putting the gloves on. Uh, you're gonna have this extra pockety uh, sleeve on the side that Mandalorians are famous for, also the pockets there on the tops of the thighs and uh, not really good for bending over, not really good for sitting either, but I guess with the jetpack on, I'm not gonna do a lot of sitting anyway. So next up is the neck seal, and it's gonna go right there on top of the costume right there. Now you'd think that you'd unzip it and put it underneath, but you don't. In fact, the first thing you need is the balaclava. You need that first. That's actually what goes underneath the jumpsuit, and then the neck seal goes on top of everything. So the neck seal, that little uh, hem at the bottom, the edge, that'll get covered up by the vest. So this is the close-up of what it looks like. And you know, when you're this far along, you're kind of looking at that helmet, kind of temptation-y, right? Got to stick it on, see what it looks like. Check out that neck seal. This is what uh, it would look like with the mask on. But here's the flight vest. And of course, it's also Velcroed, and the Velcro seal for that is going to be on the back side. That'll get covered up once the jetpack is on. So here it is all the way on. And again, now you're going to layer up on those short sleeves. So you can see that little step action happening. The slots on the back there, that's for the jetpack harness when I get that, the scuba harness. That's next. Gonna try to put on the gloves now. Uh, these gloves my brother sent me in the mail. Uh, we found out later after he sent them to me that they were not the correct ones. But rather than go gloveless just for this video, uh, I'll put the gloves on just for fun. But for anybody who's gonna say, wait, those aren't the right gloves for Return of the Jedi, yeah, we know. It's <laughs> I gotta mail those back to him and we gotta find the right uh, Return of the Jedi gloves. But see how easy it is to get the gloves on when you have that nice zipper there. And of course, when you're this far along, it's probably good to put the helmet on for a second test, right? Just get that Boba Fett action happen. And you can really see it coming along there, right? That really does start to feel like Boba Fett. That's a, that's a pretty good look, I think. So gonna go through all the 
Boba Fett poses. And uh, oh yeah, I forgot boot spats. Boot spats are also important. So those go down there over the shoes. And of course, once I get the actual shoes, that'll probably look a lot better than wearing my tennis shoes. All right, so that's part one. We'll do a part two uh, soon. Part two would be some of the other soft parts, uh, but not necessarily the clothing. So maybe we'd look at belts, Wookiee scalps, uh, maybe look at the cape. I don't, I don't have a way to attach the cape yet because I don't have the, I don't have any armor yet. So armor, that's the, that's the expensive part. If you don't, if you're thinking like how much, how much would it cost to put Boba Fett together? It, it could start at around five thousand dollars. Yeah, mostly because of armor, and uh, I wouldn't do my own painting. Uh, people can save a lot of money when they build their own armor. They can save a lot of money when they do their own painting, for sure. But uh, I'm terrible at painting, and there's a million people out there who are fantastic at it, and I'd rather have it look perfect than look so-so. So I'm willing to pay somebody <laughs> to do a very good paint job then then settle for mine. So uh, if you saw anything in this video that you were like, oh, you should correct this or you should fix this or you should definitely look at that or consider that, I would love to hear any of your suggestions from any of you Bubba builders that have already walked this path before. I'm always open uh, to those suggestions. Yes, I am a member of the Dented Helmet. I am uh, I, I'm a member there, of course, and that's a great place to go uh, for resources. Dented Helmet, by the way. Great place to go for resources to ask questions and build community. I'm also a member of a couple different uh, Boba Fett Facebook groups as well, some Star Wars Facebook groups as well. So uh, I'm always trying to get the collected voices together, right? Get uh, get uh, qu those questions answered. So yeah, thanks for joining me on this journey, and may the force be with you. I'll see you next time. Bye.